Okay, hi, assalamualaikum and uh, salam sejahtera to everyone. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to explain about uh, chapter 5, uh, state of matter, gas. Okay, and then this is tutorial 5.0, discussion for part 1. Alright, so uh, let us look into the question for uh, this tutorial. Okay, question number 1, state the assumptions of the ideal gas behavior. Okay, so uh, for ideal gas behavior, we have a uh, few assumptions that we have to make. Okay, the first assumption is number one, the volume of the gas particles are negligible, meaning that uh, isipadu gas particles, uh, zara gas diabaikan. Okay, and then uh, number two, no attractive or repulsive forces between the molecules, then tiada daya tolakan ataupun daya tarikan di antara molecule. Then Number three is the collision between the gas particles are perfectly elastic, meaning that no loss of kinetic energy. Okay, and then number four is the average kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature. Okay, so this is a uh, assumption that we have to make. Okay, for the ideal gas behavior. Okay, alright. So kita ada berapa di sini? We have one. Okay, two. Okay, we have three. And we have four assumption into ideal gas behavior. Okay, next we proceed to the next question. Question number one, sorry, question number two A. State Ball's law. Okay, so Ball's law, okay, is a, a relation of gas, okay, between uh, a relation between pressure and volume. Okay, pressure and volume. So it is given by. Okay, at a constant temperature for a fixed amount of gas, the volume of gas is inversely proportional to the pressure. Okay, so maksudnya, untuk T, okay, untuk for T dan juga, okay, untuk T dan juga uh, N, eh, N yang sama, okay, so the volume of gas, isi padu gas, is inversely proportional to the pressure okay berkada sonsang dengan tekanan okay right so it is given by v is inversely proportional to p at constant temperature dan juga bilangan mol okay so uh, we have p1 times v1 is equal to k okay constant so if you have two temperature and uh, sorry two pressure at two volume we will have p1 times v1 equal to p2 times v2 Okay, alright. So next, um, a sample of gas occupies a volume of 10 liter at pressure of 2.0 atm. What would be the pressure of the gas if it is allowed to expand in a 50 liter container at the same temperature? Okay, so, right, so kita tengok di sini, we have the volume V1. Okay, so this is our V1 and then this is our pressure 1. So what would be the pressure of the gas? So the question asks you to find pressure of the gas when it is expand to 50 milliliter. Okay, so this is 50 milliliter is volume 2. Alright, so kita dah ada formula di sini. P1 times V1 equal to P2 times V2. And kita nak cari apa? We are going to find P. Okay, so P is equal to, okay, P2 is equal to, P1 times V1 equal to P2 times V2. So, kita pindahkan P1 times V1 equal over to over V2. So, our pressure 1 is 2.0 atm. 2.0 atm times volume 1 is 10 liter over volume 2 is 50 milliliter. 50 liter. Okay. So, the answer would be 0 0.4 atm. Okay. Alright. So, that's for question number 2. Okay. So, we proceed to the next question. Question number 3. State Charles's Law. Okay. So, Charles's Law states that at a constant pressure, the volume for a fixed amount of gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Okay. Alright. So, ini adalah uh, untuk uh, Charles Law. Okay. So, pressure. Okay, pressure dan juga apa ni? We have uh, pressure. 
constant pressure dan juga V. So, kita dapat di sini, sorry, as constant, constant pressure, okay, so volume, okay, is directly proportional to temperature. So, this one, this one actually ada N, eh, V dan N, V directly proportional to temperature. So, it is given by P directly proportional to V directly proportional to T. Okay. Right. So, a constant pressure and number of mole. Ataupun, okay, V is equal to K times T. And, we arrange the equation, kita akan dapat V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2. Okay, so ini adalah untuk Charles Law. Okay. Alright. So, next. Question B. A sample of gas. Okay. So, we have a gas occupy V. V is equal to 50 milliliter. Temperature 1, 25 milliliter. What will be the gas? Okay. Occupy at 30 volume of the gas. So, we're going to find V2. Okay, alright, and temperature is, this is temperature 2, 32 degrees Celsius. Okay, temperature 1 is 25 degrees Celsius. So, the formula that we are going to use is V1 over T1, V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2. So, we are going to find V2. Right, so V2 is equal to V1 over T1 times T2. Okay, substitute the value. Volume 1 is 100 milliliter. Okay, 100 milliliter. And don't forget to convert the temperature to uh, Kelvin. Eh? Okay, alright. So, temperature for temperature 25 degree Celsius, okay, T1 in Kelvin is... 298 Kelvin eh? 298.15 Okay Kelvin So 32 32 is equal to 273 plus 32 305.15 eh? 305.15 Kelvin Alright so we have uh, The temperature Already have the temperature here Okay So temperature uh, temperature 2 is 305. Okay. Okay, 305 over... So, this one is Kelvin. Then, over temperature 1 is 298.15. Okay, so now we cancel Kelvin. Okay, right. So, the final answer will be in milliliter. So, the final answer is 102 milliliter. Okay. Finish number 3. Next, we proceed to the next question. Question number 4. Derive the ideal gas equation from ideal gas law. Okay, so how to derive ideal gas equation from ideal gas law? So we have Charles law. Okay, for E, we have Charles law. So Charles law, E, okay. Charles Law states that so Charles Law V is directly proportional to T at constant number of mole and pressure. Okay, and then for Ball's Law Okay, Ball's Law V is inversely proportional to 1 over P at constant N then T. Okay. And then for Avogadro's law. Okay. V is directly proportional to N A constant pressure and temperature. Okay, so we have is this equation. Then kita akan combine V, V, V. So kita akan dapat V is directly proportional to N times T over P. 
Okay, right. So uh, we put R as a for universal gas constant. So kita akan dapat PV, okay, equal to N R T. Okay, di mana ini adalah ideal gas equation. Okay, R is ideal gas uh, constant. Eh? Ideal gas constant. So this constant ada nilai iaitu 0.0 iaitu 0 0.6. Okay, unit is liter ten per mol per kelvin. Okay, liter atm per mol per kelvin. Okay, alright. So we have this balance uh, the apa, equation ideal gas equation daripada ideal gas law. So kita derive an equation that relates. Okay, derive equation that relates density to pressure from ideal gas equation. Okay, right. So our ideal gas equation is PV is equal to nRT, and n is number of mole di mana n is equal to okay mass over molar mass. Okay, di sini n kita gantikan. Okay, substitute PV is equal to mass R T over M R. Okay. So, then, okay. And then, kita pas, pindahkan V pergi ke sini. Okay. Masukkan V. Okay, so, the equation becomes P is equal to Okay, mass R times T over V times MR. And mass over volume, ialah, is our density. Okay, then automatic the equation akan jadi P is equal to density times R times T over MR. Okay, so this is the uh, equation, okay. Equation yang relate sama ni. Density kepada pressure. Okay, so this is equation yang menghubungkan density dan juga pressure. Okay, so uh, that's for question number 4. A and B. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'll skip uh, the next question for the next video. Okay, thank you class.